and welcome to From Rock to Jazz. Today, as you just heard, we are looking at arpeggiating seventh chords over a 2-5-1 major progression. Now, there is a whole bunch of different ways to do this. The way we're looking at today covers all six strings and 10 frets of the neck. And I'm also going to make a follow-up video where we look at doing the same thing in a minor key as well. But today, we're in the key of G major. Now to begin with, let's look at the chords that we're using and the chord shapes that we're going to base our arpeggios out of. First up is A minor 7. Now we're going to play it here in this regular, I think maybe go to A minor 7 shape for a lot of people. This is where our first arpeggio is going to be. Now we've got A, which is our root, C, which is our third, D, which is our fifth, and G, which is our seventh. Now we're going to repeat that up one more octave. And instead of going to the root, the A here, we're going to go to the B, which is the ninth. Now this is something that we've done in the first couple of episodes in this From Rock to Jazz series. So if you're not familiar with them, it might be a good idea to go and have a quick suss of them. We're going to use this ninth, as we've done in the past, as our pivot point at the top of a scale or at the top of an arpeggio. So we're going to hit that B and then we're going to come back down the way we came until we get to this C. Now we're not going to go back to the A, we're going to use this to spring straight into our next chord, which is D7. And we're going to start here, which is again probably a go-to D7 shape for a lot of people, but we're going to end up in this position here instead. So to begin with, D, which is our first, the F sharp, which is our third, the A, which is our fifth, the C, which is our seventh. We're going to repeat it up the octave and then hit that ninth again as we run back down. And we're going to finish on the F sharp and we're going to use that as our forward motion into the G chord. So F sharp is our leading tone in the key of G and then we're going to play our G major seven. Now it's going to be based in this chord shape to begin with but we're going to end up higher on the neck. So we've got G which is our one B, which is our third, D, which is our fifth, and then the F sharp, which is the major seven. So I'm going straight to the G on top here, not the ninth, and I'm just going to do a little scale run to finish it off. So let's have a look at that all together, nice and slowly. That's it. As always, it's important to remember that we're playing these exercises and these arpeggios and shapes so we can then take them and use them in a more musical setting rather than just running them straight up and down. So when you're familiar with them, have some fun just exploring the bits of each arpeggio you like the most and then create some lines out of them. I'll have the next video up soon where we look at the minor version of this in a new key. But for now, if you'd like some more jazz, check out some of the other videos in the From Rock to Jazz series. Or if you're after some contemporary music, I have a music analysis theory and technique series, which looks at all of that in contemporary songs. I also have a heavy metal series and a band called Spawn of Seed if you're after original music. As always, thank you for watching. If you have gotten some value out of the video, a like and a subscribe do go a long way in helping the channel. Otherwise, happy playing and I'll catch you in the next one.